just uh, about um, retail sales and how we can figure out how much we lose from our communities to our online sales. Uh, where that it's really tough to figure that out, and we don't have really good mechanisms, and that we might uh, consider doing some sort of survey of, of local residents to see uh, their purchasing behaviors and uh, consider what that means for everybody on Main Street and, and if there's some sort of unintended consequence of hooking everybody up to the internet and sealing our own doom. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's why you get the data, right? Right. We don't know. Was, was there any data available from, I mean, the big, it was a big fight in the legislature all year about bricks and mortar versus online. I don't think it passed. We, no. dis we discussed that and um, we, Bruce is a, a retail trade expert and so uh, he was able to tell us a few of the numbers related to what's called out-of-state purchases. Not Minnesota. Not Minnesota purchases, uh, but they're not broken down beyond beyond that. I, I don't believe so. Um, it's somewhere in the billion-dollar category, and whatever that means for our local uh, retailers is yet to be determined. You, know, you might check out Minor County, South Dakota. Yeah, uh, they, they didn't do a study about uh, loss of online sales, but they did do a study about people buying outside of their county. Right. And it was actually done by kids uh, from the local DECA or Business Professional Association group. And so they got a goal to increase the local purchasing from 10% up to 20%. Or, or to, they wanted to increase it by 10%, and they actually did increase it by 20%. But um, I think it was on a whatkidscando.com or .org. 